Hey everybody, today I'm actually going to be painting from a photograph, it's a bit windy outside, so we've decided to do a studio painting. Um, everybody loves the figures on the beach, so this is one of the requests I get the most to do a painting of. So today I'm going to just be showing you how I combine a couple of photos. I've got these two photos here. These photos I took myself, um, this was down at Matilda Bay. And I thought in, in, instead of the little baby, I might put the dog in just to show you how to superimpose a photo onto um, a canvas. Now, this canvas I'm using is a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a linen canvas that's already been gessoed, but it's been gessoed with a transparent gesso. So it's primed, but it doesn't look like it. And it's quite lovely sometimes to have this color background to start off with, I'm just going to use my burn sienna to draw in to draw in the subject matter. Now, how I draw is usually by mass, not by line. So what I'll do is I'll place my elements. So all I'll do is I'll create where I want my main figure to be. And this is just to show me, it's to show me exactly where things are going to be so that I can actually decide whether they're going to work or not and then I can move them. So if I place the little boy over here, I place the boat over there, I have mum over here, and then I have the dog here. It just creates a story because the dog looks like he's watching exactly what's going on too. As, as does the little boy, but it's, it's an interesting composition is the way you're looking for. <laughs> oh so now I can decide whether these figures are too small, too big, whether they fit in the canvas that I want the way I want them to. You know how you were just scribbling, not yeah. really drawing. No, that. that's me trying to map, trying to put the mass, trying to put that shape in to see how it's going to fill the shape or okay. the space. So, so that's how I do it. What's your rule on the canvas thing? Well, there isn't a rule. It's just that I'm feeling my way. This okay. is how I feel my way to see how big I want the composition. Instead of actually sitting and doing this drawing and have the little boy here and the mum and then realising it doesn't fit or realising it's too small and I've just done the hat and I've drawn all the stripes on the hat and I've created this beautiful little drawing and then I go, oh, mm, too small. It's too small. Mm. I've got to start again. So, I think we've established this is where I want my boy. Make sure I don't make him too small though. And this is where, so if I, if I establish that's where his legs need to hit the water, do I have enough water for him to play in? So okay, but for beginners, this is really difficult.
to see normal people can't draw like that. So how do we do it? Well, that's a good question. Okay. So how I would do it is I take an angle and I go, okay, the angle of that arm. And where does that arm? This is the white. I think white on my brush. So I should uh, grid. So you could grid. You could grid if you wanted to. Um, that's one way of doing it. Or you could do it this way, which is just by comparing distances. So I compare that distance to that distance, and I go, okay, there's the edge of her skirt. So basically, I find a shape that's easy enough for me to deal with, okay? And I can turn around and create that shape. So I can see that there's a skirt coming along there, and I measure my angles. So I make sure that line is exactly the same as that line, and I'll take an angle here, and I'll put that angle in. So, I've got that angle in. Then I com can compare that angle there. So I'll just put that angle in too, okay? Can you see how I'm slowly getting there? Yes. So this shape here, if I'm not, com if I'm confused about the hat shape, okay, I will actually also look at that angle there of the back. You'll see how that comes at an angle there? It's rounded, but I'm taking your main angles and putting them in. There's a little angle there, okay, so that can be like that, um, and then that here, you can actually see the angle of the bottom, yeah, okay. So can you see how I'm just mm -hmm. basically getting everything I need to get by putting these angles where they need to go. But I've got to make sure that that's not too far away from that. So really I'm just comparing lines and shapes. And at this point, it does look a little bit too far. So let's just put that there. And let's just see how far the arm is from the back of the skirt. So I'll just put that angle in there too. As far as I'm concerned, it's about there. And you've got that sort of little bit of a triangle. I'm looking at that little dark shape there. That sits in there. So I can use these things. I'm just going to get that to... Uh, I'm just going to get this here again, this angle here. I've got it right. No, it needs to go a little. I thought it was a bit off. So I double check my angles too. And I've got this angle there, which I really got. And then I've got this arm coming up here. So let's look at that angle there. I can break everything down into an angle. <clears throat> but if you're not so experienced, you can grid. If you're not so experienced, of course you can grid. But this, to me, is a much easier way of doing things. Um, and it's not, it's actually not as difficult as it looks. Because I'm to, all I'm doing is using my brain to look at shapes and spaces. Okay. It can't, for instance, I can tell. You know, you know how I used to draw? I used to draw with a calculator, actually. I used to measure the distance between there and there, and there and there. Now, even just doing that, see, this is another way of doing it. I've got my canvas, I'm going to have to draw on this. So I've got my canvas like this. Okay. Basically where I'm, because I've got to look at the same shape, okay. And I can see how really it's going to be difficult to put all that in that space. But I've got my canvas there, I can actually halve it. Like yeah. that, and like that. And if I half it like that, and I do it on here, can you see it's almost like putting it too? Yes. So I can actually see just by doing this. Um, it's not going to work exactly for me here because I'm moving my elements out a bit. But for a beginner, that's an easy way to see whether you've got the right elements in the right corner. Okay. Um, and this is like a... This is a... a a sort of a cheat grid in a way, so you're still sort of gridding it. Um, but when you're doing it, when you're drawing with um, paint like this, this is when you can keep moving it around, so it's not set in stone. So if I decide that one element of this is wrong, this is the time to keep moving the paint around, because now I can decide, do I want him closer, do I want him further? 